Hi, this is Dale with ComputerAfterCare.com. Tonight I'm going to show you a brief video how to download, install, and run a quick scan with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. With that said, let's go ahead and go to my favorite browser, Firefox. And we're going to browse to the website, Malwarebytes.org. Here we are, and I'm going to download the free version. difference between the free version and the paid versions are the free one is just passive there is no active protection so here we've been redirected to our download link at majorgeeks.com I'll use their first mirror site here and it might take several seconds before we actually see the download prompt as you can see it's loading I use malware bytes practically every day in cleaning customers computers it is a, definitely a very effective program I, I don't know what I do without it of course there are others that I use as well now here if our download doesn't start right away you could just jump the gun and click here to go straight to the download but we'll give it just a few more seconds Maybe they just want you to see their advertisement here. Of course, they give you the free version because they assume if you like it that you might actually pay for the, for the full version and get the active protection with the automatic updates. So here we are. There's our file. We're going to save it. Now, I like to save my files to the desktop. That way, when I'm done with the download, I know exactly where to look for that. But if you didn't do that, most likely, if you're using Vista or Windows 7, you'll find it over here under your downloads folder that's there from a previous download just for demonstration now I'm going to close my browser and as you can see here it is there's the file we just downloaded now if you have Vista or Windows 7 they use user account control which sometimes can uh, interrupt installing programs properly so I suggest that you do it as an administrator and right click it I just right clicked and select run as administrator accept the user account control prompt click yes and we're just going to accept all the default settings accept the license agreement click next next and click yes next I like to see an icon on my desktop and we're gonna leave both of these boxes checked uh, since obviously we're already connected to the internet we want to get our first update as soon as possible you always want to run scans with the most updated version that you have so it can find the latest threats that might be on your computer there we go success you notice we have a new guy <laughs> a new icon on the desktop right here and you can always go check the version here and the date it was last updated and as I said we're just going to run a quick scan so I'm gonna click scanner perform quick scan and you let it run you could run the full scan although the quick scan pretty much finds just about everything it's going to find but if you have a real pesky infection go ahead and run the full scan for for your peace of mind now I've downloaded a test spyware file on my computer that it's going to pick up here probably in about 10 seconds so I can show you how this program works. It's a test file from spycar.org and it, it's going to act just like if it were a real infection and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and abort the scan just so I can show you how this works. Now, once the scan were over normally, you would get a prompt, and it would tell you to go click the show results, which we're going to do so we can see just what it picked up. Now, this is the simulation spy car test file here, and there's the location. So, I'm going to show you exactly where that is. This is it right here. 
Now I'm going to click Remove Selected, and there it is. And here's a log file. It'll tell you what it's removed. And in this case, it wants to restart the computer to, re to complete the removal process. I'm not going to do that just right now. But I am going to exit out of the program. And as you can see, the file's not here now. It's gone. But once you are done, and the computer restarts, this file would have been quarantined. I suggest you go over here to quarantine and delete everything that's in here as long as you had no negative effects and you don't actually have to restore any of these for some strange reason. That way they don't get picked up from a scan with another security product that you might have installed on your computer giving you duplicate security warnings. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Of course there are more features. Uh, one thing you need to know is this program works with Windows 2000 through Windows 7 and there are help files in the program file folder that you can use to learn more. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video about Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. My name is Dale with ComputerAfterCare.com. Thank you and good night.